All right, so you have to find the derivative of this function using the definition uh, of the derivative. So solution. So we'll start by looking at the difference quotient, which is f of x plus. Now here you can use delta x or h. I'll use h minus f of x all divided by h. Okay, so f of x plus h, that's just x plus h plus 2. Uh, and f of x is just the square root of x plus 2. This is all divided by h. And at some point, we have to take the limit and let h approach 0. And as you can see, that would fail horribly here because we would get division by 0. So what we'll do is we will rationalize the numerator. So we're going to multiply by x plus h plus 2 plus the square root of x plus 2 over the same thing, square root x plus h plus 2 plus the square root of x plus 2. All right, so here we're going to use the difference of squares formula, right? This is a minus b, a plus b. This will give us a squared minus b squared. So this is going to end up being, well, when you square the a, the square root goes away. So you just get x plus h plus 2 minus parentheses x plus 2. And again, the square root does go away. So you end up with h, parentheses, square root, x plus h plus 2, plus the square root of x plus 2, parentheses. All right, what cancels? Looks like the 2s cancel, the x's cancel. So we're left with h all over h, parentheses, square root, x plus h plus 2, plus square root, x plus 2 and the h's cancel. So we end up with finally getting 1 over the square root of x plus h plus 2 plus the square root of x plus 2. All right, so now we're ready to take the limit. So, so let's do that. So the derivative of our function f at x by definition is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of the difference quotient. Well, this is the difference quotient, right? We worked it out, we simplified it. So it's 1 over the square root of x plus h plus 2. Wow, that's small. Plus the square root of x plus 2. So when we plug in 0 here, if you can see that miniature h, uh, we end up with 1 over the square root of x plus 2 plus the square root of x plus 2. So we get 1 over 2 square root x plus 2. And that's how you find the derivative using the definition.